Hello Taurus, I'm here to give you insight and guidance. Um, and I ask Spirit to meet you where you're at in this current space and time. So I've already pulled a card for you and we have power. Power. It's beautiful. So this is a call for you guys to embrace your power at this time. I feel like a lot of you um, are really in your power at this time. Um, you've manifested so much in your life in a short period of time. This is a time for you to celebrate. This is a time for you to um, be center stage at this time. Um, I'm also hearing that some of you feel powerless. You feel powerless in your situation. You feel like there's uh, power greater than you at this time. You feel like there's, um, there's some things that you feel like are outside of your control. Hence why you feel like there's greater powers, okay? But it's really a call for you to not worry, okay? To really not worry and uh, stand in your power and also stand in your truth, okay? Um, seeing yourself as a powerful person, okay? Um, what else am I getting from this? I see two little leopards here. Or maybe it's a cheetah. I don't know if it's a leopard or a cheetah. That might be leopards. Okay, two leopards. So the fact that she's in between two leopards, I feel like there's protection here as well. I see around her head, that's like a compass. Okay, so it's like trusting your intuition. And as you trust your intuition, it's like you feel more powerful. Okay. Um, you have also powerful intuition as well. Um, I'm seeing the wings here as well, so which lets me know that you're not stagnant. You may It may appear like you're stuck and you're stagnant, but you're not. You have more power than you actually think. Um, I'm hearing the song, Summer Breeze makes me feel fine. I don't know why I heard that song. <laughs> Maybe it's your favorite song for some of you, I don't know. But summer breeze makes you feel fine. So just getting out in nature makes you feel really good. It helps you um, become one with nature, with the divine. And in, in return, it gives you power. You feel empowered. Okay, so let's see what the book has to say. This sovereign angel is queen of her domain. She knows who she is and where she is going. Behind her head is a halo crown in the form of a compass. Um, compass represents choice over many directions. Her mysterious dark wings point heaven upward. Excuse me, point heavenward. A pair of cheetahs stand tamely at her feet. Cheetahs are associated with courage and the might of royalty, and like royalty, can inspire both awe and respect. The aura of protective golden light surrounding power proves she has earned the necessary wisdom to use the position of sovereignty responsibly and wisely. In today's world, we often measure our worth against the illusion of worldly status and mistake material gain for power. Many feel helpless and victimized by the chill of power's seemingly ruthless grip. But this can only happen if we choose to look outside of ourselves for the strength and wisdom we feel we lack. Authentic power, however, comes from within, and the ability to recognize and discern its core meaning can take many years, if not lifetimes. The presence of this triumphant card reminds you of your spiritual inheritance and sovereign self. You are a bright, regal spark of of the divine, independent individual, and yet totally connected. Perhaps you are in the midst of a power struggle or need to reclaim control from a person or a situation. You are using your position, excuse me, are you using your position of power wisely? Are you being called to stand firm in your power and have the courage of your convictions? Purposeful thoughts and deeds seeded from the fertile ground of truthfulness, honor, and respect carry authentic power and are among your strongest allies. So I love that. So also watch out for manipulation. Some of you uh, could be in a status or in a position where you have a lot more power, you have a lot more pull. And so therefore you can find that you are being a manipulative. So really watch out for that. This is not for all of you Tauruses. This is for some of you. Okay, because Taurus is a fixed sign 
and it's the bull <laughs> so sometimes uh, that energy can be kind of controlling um, and that can be with any sign of course but we're talking about Taurus okay so let's see let's see what uh, is surrounding you Taurus Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and Justice. Ooh, I like this. So this is pretty. This is pretty good. Okay, so Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and Justice card. So Four of Wands. So um, you guys could be re be really focusing on your foundation. This could be your um, in regards to your career. It could be your home life as well. Uh, Two of Pentacles, I see this as more responsibilities. Um, you're having more things added to your plate, which can make you feel a little bit, um, for some of you, like a workhorse, kind of drained a little bit. But it's really important for you to continue to move forward because we have this Knight of Pentacles. And the Justice card, so you're going to be <laughs> free, okay? You're going to be scot-free. You're going you're gonna to be moving towards um, a balance. Okay, so keep doing what you're doing. Um, I'm hearing also picking up on responsibilities. So yeah, you guys are definitely picking up on some extra responsibilities in regards to your work or your home life. Okay. Um, what else am I seeing here? Um, I also see here relationships. Um, for some of you, I can I see here. I was hearing proposal, like marriage. Um, some of you are working towards solidifying a relationship. This could be solidifying a work relationship. I'm hearing like seal the deal. Or this could be uh, sealing a deal with a person that you're connected with. Okay, like a romantic uh, connection. Okay, for some of you I see that. Okay, like sealing a deal. Um, what else am I seeing here? I'm also seeing that things are, yeah, some of you could be, have been picked up on some extra responsibilities. You're kind of doing the juggling act here and things are not really moving as fast as you would like them to. Okay, you could be working with another person and maybe this person is very slow. <laughs> they take their time. You know, this could be a partner you're dealing with. They're, they're not so quick to um, make a decision or to do things. They kind of take their time, they're kind of slow. This can also be you, Taurus, because you are a slow moving energy, okay? Taurus is Earth. Earth is not very impulsive, okay? But I see that, you know, I do see that someone's kind of taking their time. They're not, they're not trying to jump the gun quickly. I do see for some of you, you could be with someone who wants to marry, who wants to take this connection to a whole nother level but you're just a little cautious you're just kind of waiting but I feel like uh, for some of you you will be taking this leap of faith you will be solidifying things with um, this person that you're with this person that you're connected with because you want this harmony you've had nothing but harmony with this person and so you want to you know solidify this okay um, what else am I seeing here um, justice, you know, justice could also talk about the legal system, dealing with legal issues as well. I see that um, some of you, um, you have more power than you think, of course. It's just that you guys are going through this juggling act and you're having to deal with the, the you know, the logistics of things. I mean, you're just... You're going through it. But um, I see that for some of you, you're going to come out on top. Justice will be served. Um, and it's like your home life is being affected by it. I do see that. Um, two of Pentacles. What else am I seeing? Yeah. And look at the Two of Pentacles. It says, the happiness is not in the mere possessions of money. It lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creative effort. So... Some of you could be really focused on money, like you're just kind of, some of you could be obsessed with money, you know, and um, some of you could be trying to, it's like an energy of being a hog, 
Okay, like you're trying to um, hog all the fine, the hog all the money, hog all the responsibilities, so you can get paid more. Something like that. That's not. That's not for all of you. Okay, like you guys are wanted it all. Okay, but it's not about the money. It's really about the joy of achievement. Okay, about getting the job done from finishing something from start to finish and then seeing the beautiful result. Okay, so for some of you, it's a call for you to really take a look at that and not allow money to overpower you and to be obsessed with it because you know, you guys were the second house, it's about the money. You know, <laughs> Taurus is about the money. Okay, um, you could be also dealing with a Libra person here that I'm seeing, uh, dealing with the Libra. Um, this Libra could be very impulsive, you know, they could be, um, and you, Libra and Taurus both, uh, both are ruled by Venus, so it's about beauty, okay, and sometimes it does talk about money too, but, um, there's a Libra, so a Libra energy, it could be even an Aries energy that's really impulsive, they're really wanting things done, you gotta do it now, 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 and you may feel a little bit empowered, or not empowered, but um, powerless, okay? But don't allow the situation uh, to get you down or this person to get you down. This person just really knows how they want things. They want things to be balanced. So just continue to work away because I really see that you're working really hard. You're working really hard, Taurus. I see that. And this can also be an aspect of yourself, okay? You could want things done a certain way, um, but you have to give people time, okay? Uh, give people time to kind of catch up and, and, and get to where they need to be, okay? If you need to ask for help, ask for help. What else am I seeing here? Um, I think that's it. Okay, so let's see. What do you need to know going for it, Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, what do you need to know going for it? Um, I'm also seeing here there's a need for you to liberate yourself from a situation. Um... Some of you could be too, too careful, like you're too careful. Uh, I'm not saying be reckless, but you could be too careful. Like you you can be in a vibration where you become complacent because you, you're, you, you cause, because you're indecisive, okay? You're being too safe. Some of you, there's a need for you to make a decision so you can restore this balance. That's for some of you, okay? Okay, what does... Taurus, do not want forward. Taurus, with Taurus, we want to go forward. Taurus, we need to go forward. Taurus, Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. <sighs> Taurus. Oh, uh, yeah, and, and Taurus, really um, be careful, too, because I'm hearing manipulation. There could be someone trying to manipulate you because you're kind of powerless. That's for some of you, not all of you. So what does Taurus need to know going forward? Taurus, Taurus, what is Taurus and Pinocchio going for? Page of Wands, which was in the Aries reading. The Hermit card, Virgo. The Sun card, Leo. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So, um... Taurus, you're dealing with someone that you have a conflict with. You're dealing with a fire sign person that you have some conflict with, um, disagreements with as well. Um, you're dealing with someone that you have a conflict with. This person is very immature, okay? This page of wands this could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. It could even be an air sign person, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay, but this is someone you're dealing with. This is someone that's within your household or someone that you're working with, you know, someone that you're involved with. But this person is very immature. Okay, and there I see that there is some conflict in the household. And I feel like for some of you, you're wanting to get away. <laughs> you just want to get away with the dog. You just want to be alone. You don't want to deal with this shit. Okay. Because it's, it's, there's always conflict, okay? And it's really important that you see the truth of the matter in the situation, okay? See the truth about this person or the situation, okay? Um, you can communicate how you feel, 
Okay, if you're going through some inner conflict or you're going through conflicts with others, you can communicate how you feel, but don't get into a vibration where you're uh, gossiping. Okay, because I see that it can be, um, it's like gossiping energy. This could be coming from you, it could be coming from another person. Okay, um, I'm also seeing here um, that there's a need for you to not be afraid of the unknown. Be, don't be afraid to take um, some pointers from someone that's older than you, someone that's more experienced than you. Um, because Taurus, you don't know everything. Some of you could be older and think you know everything because you're older, but that's not always the case. Be open to receiving messages from other people, seeing different perspectives, because once you're able to do that, then you're in this hermit energy. You have wisdom, okay? Um... You're able to see things from a whole different perspective, okay? When you're able to take pointers or take some type of advice or some insight from other people, okay? Um, it's, being, it's being more receptive, okay? Um, the Hermit card here, it says, nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. So it's going back to being happy with who you are, okay? Yes, the hermit talks about um, going within. It talks about wisdom. It also talks about uh, solitude, spending time alone. Some of you may need to spend some time alone. You, Some of you could also be dealing with a Virgo person, okay? I see that. You could be dealing with the Virgo person or you could have Virgo in your chart because Hermit is the Virgo, okay? Um, I'm hearing a toss-up, like a juggling act. If you could be in a, you could have a juggling act. You could be in a juggling act, act with a Virgo or a Capricorn because this is Jupiter and Capricorn and this is Virgo here, okay? And there's like, there's an energy of gossip here, okay? So you got to really watch out for that. The hermit keeps to himself. The hermit's not always going around running his mouth or running her mouth all the time. So you got to be really careful with that. Be careful with who, who you're telling your secrets to as well, okay? Or who you're sharing information with. I'm not saying be paranoid. But you got to be very careful with who, um, who you're sharing information with. And then we have the sun card here. So the sun card is seeing the brighter side in life, okay? You could have went through a time where you're, you're feeling as though you wanted to be left alone. You didn't want to talk to anyone, you know, because of a difficult situation or because things got a little bit too much. You know, you're taking up extra responsibilities. But it's really a call for you to shine your light. Okay, shine your light and don't allow your light to be depleted because of what's going on around you or what's going on within your foundation. Because once you're able to do that and shine your light and, and vibe from a positive, um, vibe from a more positive um, vibration, okay, then you have more opportunities that come your way. And this is the Ace of Pentacles here. It says wealth is the ability to fully experience life. So once you're able to... Um, be more positive, shine your light, tap into, you know, your, like, happiness, then more opportunities will present itself, okay? It definitely will present itself. You feel more liberated as well, okay? Because I feel like some of you just, <laughs> some of you just want to be left alone. You don't want anybody telling you what to do. You don't want to hear shit. You just want to just be left alone, okay? Someone could be treating you as a child, too, you know, they could be treating you like a baby and you don't like that, which can create some type of conflict, um, not not being able to see eye to eye, even, you know, um, competition as well, because someone's treating you like a baby. <laughs> OK. Um, also, the hermit going back to the hermit, the hermit is very wise. So if someone's treating you like a baby or treating you like a child, you know, see it for what it is. Don't take offense to it because people have different styles and communicating. Okay. It, this could also be you treating someone like a baby. Okay. And if you're doing that, it's really important that you, that <laughs> you kind of stop that. Okay. Unless you really are talking to a child. All right. Your child. Um... Yeah, so just most importantly going forward, don't be afraid of the unknown. Don't be afraid to receive advice from other people, um, receive insights, seeing other people's perspective, because that's going to help you grow your wisdom. 
Okay. It's going to help you see things from a whole different perspective because that's what the Hermit does. Okay. Um, also, I'm, I'm seeing here that there is um, a message coming in that's going to be like a revelation to you. The truth is going to be coming out about something. Seeing that the Page of Wands and the Sun card is here that you're going to get uh, a message that's going to come through. Okay. And it's going to be the truth. It's going to shine light on a lot of things for you. Um, I'm also hearing a mirror. There's going to be a situation that presents itself where it's going to cause you to reflect. It's going to cause you to look at yourself and you're going to be like, damn, really? I've been acting like that or damn, you know, I, maybe I shouldn't have said this or whatever. And then when you see that, when you reflect, you're going to really be in your power because it takes power. It takes strength to really see yourself, um, fully. Okay, there's a lot of people who are afraid to look at the in, in the mirror. Okay, they're afraid to look at their actions and their behaviors. You know, they can be messy as hell and they choose not to look in the mirror and see the actions, see where their actions and their behaviors and their thoughts have got them. Okay, but I feel like some of you are really going to be looking at yourself in the mirror and that's going to create a rebirth because the sun is all about rebirth it's renewal the sun rises every day it's transformative okay and in return you're going to have a new opportunity okay i also see that some of you really need to pay attention to your health as well because the ace of pentacles for me um is about health it's karmic something that you've been doing that's no longer serving you it, it can affect your health so you got to really watch out for that. Take back power over your life, over your mind, body, and spirit, okay? Because I really see that you, some of you guys need to really watch out for your health. It's just something that you've been doing that's, um, you know, um, that hasn't been the best for you, okay? Certain behaviors, certain things, okay? It's a call for you to really liberate yourself, but this is karmic too, okay? It's like cause and effect, if I'm going to drink all the time, then my liver is going to go bad. If I'm going to smoke all the time, then, you know, my lungs are going to go bad. Or if I'm constantly worrying all the time, um, it's going to give me migraines. Uh, if I'm going to hold on to grudges, it's going to give me a heart attack, you know, and so on. Okay, so really take a look at that. So that's, I think that's pretty much it. Um, there definitely is an opportunity for transformation and renewal. So, uh, take that opportunity, power yourself, empower yourself. Okay. Power, empower. <laughs> okay. So that's the end of the reading. I hope you guys liked it. Please feel free to reach out if you're interested in a personal reading. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.